Yeah. All right. I know y'all hear this. Y'all see this. Are you thinking, this is not Cakewalk? <laughs> You're right. This is Reaper. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. Today, what I want to do is actually show you guys how I kind of created like a cakewalk model inside of Reaper that you guys can kind of follow along. I know there's a lot of debates going on right now of what's going on with cakewalk. Will they be releasing sonar? Will they be doing the next thing and the pricing and how much is actually going to be? So for those people that actually want to try Reaper out, um, I've actually created a configuration file that you can use to actually load up your CWP files and actually have the theme looking like Cakewalk. So just follow along with me. And like I said, that link is below in the description. If you do want to do that, uh, it is on my website. So you have up until the end of the month to actually get it for $10. Uh, after that, it'll actually be $12 for the configuration file. But let's go take a look and see what we've done. All right, so here we are in Reaper and this theme is called Eclat. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Not 100% sure, but I think that is how you pronounce the, uh, the theme that I'm actually using right now. All right, so as you see, it does have the same like kind of color and mannerism as Cakewalk. This is like the Tuscan kind of look that it has on here. Um, and this actual theme is um, modified a little bit more by Feed the Cat, which is really cool. As you can see, I have my browser on the right hand side of the screen. So you have your mixer and fader, and you also have your option to put the piano roll down here. I've added the options to do like your grid size. You can do triplets down here as well. And I've also added some split notes in here, um, a randomizer. This is for your arpeggiator. If you want to do an arp right in here, you can do it right here from this button and it'll bring up this uh, MIDI arpeggiate, right? And I also added a randomized velocity, so you can randomize your velocity with this one, right? So all this is right here inside the piano roll. You can lock your notes to the keys like you can in Cakewalk. You have your sidebar over here if you wanna record uh, or show ghost notes all over here, just like it is inside of Cakewalk as well. So it has a lot of the same exact features, the things that you may be missing, step sequencer. Uh, Reaper doesn't actually come with a standard kind of step sequencer. Uh, there are other ones inside here, but it's not the same as Cakewalk in any form or fashion. So if you do use a step sequencer, that is probably one thing that you may not really get inside of Reaper. But other than that, everything else should kind of like work. So as you see, everything kind of looks the same as it would inside of uh, Cakewalk. Uh, with the benefits of having some of the things that Reaper can do that you can't really do inside of Cakewalk, right? Um, and what the, the really great thing about this is I have an option to even open up Cakewalk files inside of Reaper. So let me show you that. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna go to a new project tab. And as you see, Reaper will keep those other projects kind of open where you can see them. You can switch back and forth fairly easy uh, in the DAW. So I'm going to pull up a file that I have. All right. So here is one of my CWP files. This is a cakewalk file. As you see, it says cakewalk project file. So I'm just going to drag it over into Reaper. And it pops up with this window. This is the RIA CWP uh, script made by Aslo, shout outs to Aslo. Thank you for actually making this for us. And as you see, he has his address and his name here. He's let me know that not everything was converted. Uh, so there's two things that didn't come over from Cakewalk. And usually those are the things that are in like your pro channel or if you have a Cakewalk like template created where you like adding a whole bunch of different ones and you kind of made it into like a smaller package. Those are usually the ones that come up inside here. So I'm just gonna hit okay on here. All right, and here is the file that is actually pulled up. As you see, it shows the master on here. You can always hide your master if you wanted to. Um, 
for Reaper, it actually makes a, a brand new master because that's how Cakewalk outputs. And then it goes to a final out. Uh, that is how Cakewalk is actually set up, right? So I have my compressor, reverb, delay, and chorus, just like I would inside of Cakewalk. The only difference is it's on the left-hand side instead of right-hand side for me. So those are my buses, right? So what I can do is right click in here and I can actually even add spacers in here, which is always super cool. So now my buses are over here, right? So my drum bus is here, my chorus, my delay, my reverb. So all my stuff is over here and I have a divider that I can actually put in here and then you have all the rest of your sound. So I have samples. So it pulls over all the samples that are inside the CWP file, any kind of one shots, any kind of edits that you've done, it's all gonna be inside here which is really cool. And even if you have MIDI, as you can see, the MIDI will be in here as well. Let me shrink this in. And when you first get into Reaper, you won't actually have the, the zoom and scroll working exactly like it does inside of Cakewalk. So that's why I created the configuration file. So you guys can actually have the same functionality, like your zoom will work the same, your alt and the mouse will actually zoom in and out. Uh, the control one will go up and down just like it would inside of Cakewalk. So it has that same exact feature inside of Cakewalk, which I implemented over here inside of Reaper as well. All right. So, um, like I said, you have your MIDI, you have all these things going for you in here. So if I play it. strings here so like all these things actually work inside of reaper um i usually have a template inside of my master chain there it goes the chain the chain doesn't actually pull over from uh cakewalk as well the, the pro channel stuff doesn't pull over except for the eq and the only other thing that doesn't pull over is if you have a chain that you've created uh, that chain won't pull over and those are the two errors that it showed in the beginning of this uh video right but everything else is pretty much intact. Uh, and if you're not if you're not familiar, Cakewalk actually makes two tracks. They just call it an instrument track. So they make one where you actually get your sound and the other one is where you actually put your MIDI. So you have a MIDI and an actual, I guess device you can say that, or a synth that actually plays the sound. So as you can see, uh, Reaper puts them in a synth rack. So that's how it actually creates any kind of MIDI coming into uh, Reaper, it'll make a synth rack and then everything is children underneath it, right? And seeing that I have my synth rack um, colored, it's gonna be colored that yellowish color. So if I name this something else, let's say I name this uh, drums, right? It'll all turn blue because I have it actually set to whatever the name is will actually color all those tracks. So I thought that was super, super cool. Right. All right. And before I forget, you can also save this uh, CWP file as a Reaper file. So if I wanted to, I can go to file, go to save project as right. And I can name it pretty much whatever I want to. Let's say uh, it walk. Um, right. So I can rename it and I can actually create a subcategory for it for the project and copy all the media. So all of the wave files and stuff will be saved as well. So I can just hit save. All right. And now when I actually try to pull it up, I can actually go up here and let's go to open project. And as you see the cake walk redo 90 beats per minute. And now it is a RPP file, which is a Reaper file, right? And I'm going to open it in a new tab project as I have it clicked here. So I'm gonna hit open. And boom, now I have one set up for Reaper directly, right? So I don't have to pull up the CWP file anymore. I can just go straight into Reaper and pull it up. And I think that's super, super cool. All right. And if you actually do want to learn how to actually do this, I have a video showing you how I set all this up inside of Reaper coming from Cakewalk. 
so this is just a video i wanted to show you guys on this channel because uh, my other channel is where i actually put it i wanted to show you guys though this cool way of actually using cakewalk inside of reaper and all the things that i've kind of added in here so i want to show you a couple more things like uh inside of the piano roll for one so let's say you have your piano roll up here right and uh you want it to slice like this note here right so if you highlight that note you can hold down control and shift on your keyboard and just use your mouse wheel and it'll add cuts straight to the MIDI. You can also do this with the split notes up here. Uh, and this, this will go by exactly how the grid is. So whatever your grid is set to, seeing that as 1 16th, it'll cut this into 1 16th. So I guess I should show that. So see, I have this one highlighted. I click on split notes. And as you see, it's split it by 1 16th for all these notes, as you see down here. So all the stuff I have set up in here will be in that cakewalk configuration file. So it's no need to worry about that. And then it'll also come with the theme and it'll show the um, Aslo script inside there as well. I also have a video showing you how to set everything up if that's something that you wanna do. But if you do wanna learn how to do it, like I said, I have a video, it should be above or at the end of this video, uh, showing you how to actually set up the cakewalk theme inside of reaper but with that being said that's pretty much the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this one i will be coming with more videos very very soon so make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel and once again i want to thank you for watching learning reaper till next time people peace hey you yes you youtube wants you to watch this video next man go ahead and click it I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.